Hi, I am Dinesh Arora. I am 60 plus age, uh, hailed from Delhi NCR area. Uh, I have been diabetic uh, for more than a decade. Uh, I am obese and also have developed uh, other age related issues, uh, maybe a little earlier than uh, I should have. So I had kind of almost surrendered to uh, that probably I will never be able to get over diabetes or uh, or obesity or other issues, uh, particularly the joint pains in knees and ankles, etc. I had seen uh, several uh, uh, senior consultants in this regard and everybody said you have to keep taking medicines and that's the only remedy that you have. I have been contemplating to have something wherein uh, I go, I have that personalized experience uh, and something which is a little differentiated to the uh, to the cart that is available in the market. Somehow, um, I, I got to know about uh, Vatalia. Uh, it came a stage wherein uh, I said, yes, okay, I'm coming and uh, Aarti and Adi both were very kind to have accommodated me uh, to take up uh, a session with me for uh, seven, eight days on one-on-one -on -one basis. So yeah, uh, today it is seventh day that I'm here. Um, and the perspective uh, has completely changed about uh, about your the hidden treasures within the body, within the life that you have. Uh, now, I think uh, the biggest uh, of uh, all the uh, uh, takeaways uh, that I have through this session has been on the nutrition aspect of it. And uh, this is, uh, I think, probably made the main reason for my uh, feeling about the transformation and belief or self-belief that you know, my diabetes can be reversed. Uh, so two, three take two, three salient features of, of, of this program I can say is that the first thing was that there's no prohibition uh, on eating. Um, so every kind of uh, uh, dishes that I can think about uh, can be eaten and from day one itself uh, when I came here. So the kind of lunch that was uh, presented and then Later on, uh, the dinner was presented. It was like there's no change, and the food has been as delicious as what we are eating at our home. And during the course of discussions on nutrition, uh, so what we understood, it's all about creating a balance. So you know, there is there's a saying of uh, five W's and one H in typical management uh, classes. Classes uh, is uh, uh, what, when, where, why, uh, and how. Uh, so I think the same thing gets applied into nutrition also and so what you are eating, when you are eating, uh, where you are eating and, and why you are eating that and how you are eating. So uh, all those things are uh, not necessarily in that very template but these are all what uh, she explained it to uh, to me and, and made me to practice right from my uh, first meal uh, after getting up uh, until the time that I go for sleep. Um, so as I said that I'm not new to yoga, so what is it, uh, you know, how, how um, RTG's therapy, yoga therapy or yoga sessions were different from others um, is that uh, I was quite aware about the asanas uh, and um, uh, was really expecting that the moment I come here, probably I'll be uh, talked about and and made to practice more on, on Surya Namaskar and I was surprised that for five days she didn't talk anything about uh, Surya Namaskar so I was inquisitive uh, although I know that it's very difficult for me but uh, she said uh, yeah 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 we will take it up in the end of the session I'm preparing your body to take up uh, uh, Surya Namaskar so, so what she did was that she started with very basics and uh, she had gone through my profile uh, before I came here, so, so she knew, you know, what's the state of uh, body uh, or ailments, or probably the state of mind that I was carrying. I mean, it, it kept on getting uh, more and more uh, informed to each other on a daily basis as we used to interact uh, daily. So she focused on very basic yogic exercises, but what she uh, did was kind of trying to perfect. Uh, on the on the right way of doing that particular asanas, um, focusing on the postures, uh, the importance of uh, 
your 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 standing posture or whenever you are there uh, doing that particular asana um uh, it has been a challenge for me that you know it it remained an illusion for you know whenever i was doing yoga asana um uh, how do you synchronize your breath uh, with your asanas i think this was probably uh, the best part in learning yoga from ati ji is that uh, it, in there there never was a situation where i was feeling breathless uh, kind of a thing because it's not that when you are inhaling or exhaling uh, you know at, at some point of time you have to uh stop uh, breathing uh, so that's the comfort that probably for the first time i got to understand and that gave me a lot of uh, courage and capacity to uh, undergo yoga asana practices so what happened uh, in 2 3 days time i was very comfortable despite uh, her being very particular of the postures and the precision of the posture uh, it wasn't uh, like a pain or so every every session Uh, every uh, discussions during the day she'll keep on asking you know how are you feeling uh, is there any pain and surprisingly i mean i was also expecting that i'll be having muscle uh, pulls etc and some pain here and there but uh, it wasn't there so uh, significance uh, of identifying understanding the needs of the person who is being coached has been a great uh, differentiator with ati ji uh the manner the ease uh, the simplicity and the perseverance with which he deals with, she deals with uh, with uh, making one understand uh and also give that confidence uh, not uh, uh throwing up on everything whatever is there in the book or or in the on various practices it's just slow and steady so that was that's that's really you know uh, kind of differentiates her uh, method of uh, training on yoga yoga asanas we also had a chance to uh, have a sound bathing uh, session uh, this was again for the first time in my life and uh, an amazing experience that you are there lying down for one hour and um, uh, those vibrating sounds uh, are being played and played in a manner that it touches your mind body uh, and soul uh, so i could feel that uh, i i would have wanted to have more sessions probably i may have in the time to come but uh, amazing experience uh, the third thing uh, is the vatale uh, the property itself the infrastructure that they have created the spirit with which it has been created i had fortune to have interaction with uh, uh, mr and mrs sharma the parents uh, uh, who started uh, this venture their their effort towards creating this infrastructure with the concept that they had in their mind a uh, fantastic uh, gave me uh, gave me uh, uh, a great time to be here you know i'm surrounded 360 degree by about the by the mountain hills and it has become a ritual for me to you know, post uh, breakfast and post lunch to go and sit in the garden walk for a while Uh, be with the nature keep on watching uh, the hill tops and sometimes i get to see uh, snow peaks as well and looking at keep looking at the flowers and other vegetation that they have in their farms every time i go to the yogshala uh, i get to smell uh, that uh, typical smell uh, from our auspicious uh, guy cow uh, gives me immense uh, feeling of uh, being rooted uh, to the mother earth um so the moment uh, i hear about a word called track um uh, the first thing that comes to your mind is uh, hills and then mostly the leh ladakh uh, mm-hmm. or maybe the mount uh, you know your everest aspect of it base camp that's the thing that comes to your mind ever since my childhood so when it was written in the curriculum that you know we'll be going for a track so i was excited and inhibited also that whether i'll be able to do it Uh, so it it was amazing experience and the time that we spent there at the spot i think we sat there for about 45 50 minutes uh, and uh, we kept on discussing everything on this world from uh, nature to uh, to the startup industry to the business uh, it was such a such a wonderful uh, place to be at that probably it, it kept on opening up our minds and kept on uh, allowing us to discuss on so many issues uh, and uh, today uh, she presented to us very surprisingly without having disclosed earlier uh, she brought in some uh, white sheets and 
uh, and some coal, we call it charcoal. And uh, she said, I'm going to do some activity with you. And then she presented that, you know, you, you use this uh, charcoal and, and draw whatever you want to, uh, not necessarily any drawing, etc. The first uh, uh, use of the charcoal on the white paper sheet, uh, that was a pleasure actually. That gave that, that, that uh, thicky and, and, and uh, uh, that sound that it gives, you know, when you use it on plain, plain paper, that actually migrated the thoughts in your mind. And I simply started enjoying, you know, one angle, the other angle, and something kept on getting drawn. Uh, and more particularly that use of fingers uh, for for uh, you're kind of using it as a brush and giving a, uh, uh, a tinge uh, to the depiction. Then she said, okay, try and make a use of rubber and uh, uh, eraser and, and try and uh, now use uh, eraser um, uh, it's in a gentle way. You know, so the excitement that you've created, the energy that you've created by drawing it and using the charcoal. Uh, use that uh, eraser to kind of ease it out and, and express it in a very subtle manner. Once we completed that, there's a whole different uh, feeling about uh, uh, use of, uh, of this uh, activity. Is it opened up so many forays, uh, you know, when you go back, how you can make use of these kind of activities, particularly this activity, to an extent that I have my grandson who is about one and a half years old. I said, this is the best. A way I can spend some time, I can grab his attention. It's very difficult to take, get his attention when he's on play. So this is the best way to get his attention. He'll get involved into it. And I, I believe that probably he'll be asking more and more such sessions with him. So yeah, amazing experience. Uh, in today's uh, fast paced life, as much we want to be good human beings, uh, we tend to be not uh, we get perturbed more particularly in metro cities or urban cities. We tend to be get more restless and anxious and uh, with very less tolerance. Uh, but we are great preachers and always we will say. But here is a place wherein I can see that uh, so all those thoughts, the concepts are being put into practice in its true sense and all sincerity. So. Yoga has given me a confidence uh, back on my body that it, it can be worked upon. Uh, knowledge about nutrition and whatever little practice that I could do in seven days has given me a, a great assurance that if I follow a simple discipline and a balance in my life, uh, I can reverse my diabetes and start enjoying uh, my life back because it has been a, uh, uh, a great irritant you know, at times. So we have accomplished whatever we wanted to, but this very feeling that, you know, you are a diabetic and there are restrictions and there are uh, possible um, implications in due course of time. Uh, and the third is uh, being in the lap of the nature. nature. So first day was really, <laughs> uh, you know, I kept thinking about how will I spend eight days all alone here. But after seven days, I now feel that uh, I must come to uh, to hills uh, at least once in a quarter uh, with uh, my wife. The experience that you get here uh, cannot really be written down and narrated in bullet points. Uh, you have to come here and experience. One thing keep in mind is that life is all about uh, balance in whatever sphere that you are. So wherever you create an imbalance is either by force or by uh, by your discretion, uh, by your practice, uh, it will create havoc in your life. Uh, it is time that we uh, un get to understand the importance of uh, balance, everywhere, more particularly with your body, uh, mind and soul. Uh, that's a small secret that it is there, if you can do that. And these wonderful uh, young couple uh, has made me realize it. And I'm very thankful to them. Uh, for their, this contribution. Uh, I highly, highly recommend uh, for people to think about it and uh, have interaction with both of them before you come here so that you know you can get your doubts cleared and uh, wishing all the very best to all those who are going to come and experience in future after I go back and all the very best to both of these uh, great souls uh, to continue great task. Thank you.